Welcome electronic video guests to the outer limits of the trading card hobby TTM. Through the mail, we seek to have the famous and the infamous sign the trading cards and photographs we send to them through the mail. Today we have seven such specimens to examine. Seven trading card autograph request return specimens to examine in minute detail. So if you like seeing envelopes being cut open, you've come to the right place. Sit back, relax, and get ready to enjoy the fun presented to you from the worldwide YouTube video air fill. Well, this is going to be a great Saturday morning of trading card fun. Because after we do these TTMs, we're going to do another giveaway. We got this 40 card value pack of Panini 2022 NFL Trading Cards, Rookies, and Stars. Maybe we'll get a Brock Purdy in there. The winner of the contest can pick four. We'll tell you how you can do that after we do our TTMs. Let's get started with some TTM fun. TTM number one from South Suburban, Illinois. Beautiful. Always good to get one from South Suburban. What do we got out of South Suburban, Illinois? Oh, one of our 1990 Tops cards, Mr. Marvell Wynn. Look at that nice little signature, Marvell Wynn. Beautiful. On that sweet old 1990 Tops card. Look at that. Marvell Wynn, he's now 63 years old. Oh, he played eight years with the Pirates, Padres, Cubs. Lifetime 247 hitter. 40 home runs, 80 stolen bases. Best year was 1988 with the Padres, hit 264, 11 home runs, 42 RBIs. His son, Marvell Wynn II, played some professional soccer for the team out there in San Jose. Thank you, Mr. Marvell Wynn, for signing that 1990 Tops card. Really appreciate it. Marvell Wynn, all right, that's our TTM number one. All right, number two coming to us from Beer City, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. What do we got coming to us from Milwaukee? Let's see what we got. Oh, check this out. Beautiful. Look at that. First Bowman Chrome card. That is a beauty. Signed by Mr. Alex Benellis. Look at that. That is sweet. Great to get a young actor prospect to sign. Look at that Bowman Chrome card. He signed that beautifully. Look at that. That is sweet. That is the 2021 first Bowman Chrome for Mr. Alex Benellis. He's a power hitter in the Red Sox system. Hit 25 home runs in double A ball last year, but he only had a 206 batting average. He was a third round pick in the 2021 draft out of Louisville. He's got to make a little more contact to get up to the big leagues. He struck out 126 times in just a little over 400 at bats. But this fella has legitimate big league power. We wish him well on his climb to the big leagues. Hope to see him hitting some long balls pretty soon. Alex Benellis, thank you, young man, for signing your 2021 first Bowman Chrome. That is a beauty. Check that out. That is great to get these active players signing. Look at that Chrome card. Very nice. Outstanding. Two good returns. 
All right, let's see what we got next coming to us. From Los Angeles, California. Beautiful. We got a lot of rain out there recently. Hopefully there's no mud on this card. Let's see what we got. From Los Angeles, California. Oh, it looks like we got a custom art card. Oh, check that out. Kim Gordon. Look at that. There's her little signature down there in the corner there. Kim Gordon. Thank you, Miss Gordon. Really appreciate that. Look at her rocking there in 2004 at the Rock On Scene Festival. Of course, Kim Gordon is one of the legends of the alternative music scene. Uh, singer, songwriter, guitarist, bass player, best known as one of the founders of Sonic Youth. They had a huge influence on 1990s grudge and the Riot Girl scene. In the 2000s, she did a little bit of acting too. Uh, appeared on the Gilmore Girls, Portlandia, The Simpsons, couple movies. Thank you, Kim Gordon, 69 years old. An old hipster and legend of the alternative music scene, founder of Sonic Youth, Kim Gordon. That is a beauty. That's one of our favorite returns. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Kim Gordon, how about that? I like that a lot. All right, what's here next here coming to us? From Reno, Nevada. Is that the biggest little city in the world? Reno, Nevada? Is that our O.J. Simpson card coming back? Let's take a look. Oh, no. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that beautifully inscribed 1991-92 Skybox card from Mr. Steve Alford. That is beautiful. He's got God blessings on there. My name, Philippians 4.13. We know that one. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Beautiful. Steve Alford, 58 years old, a true Indiana schoolboy basketball legend. Indiana, Mr. Basketball in 1983 when he averaged 37 points a game who went on to star at Indiana, three times All-Big Ten, two times All-American. And, of course, he led Indiana to the 1987 NCAA Championship, scored 23 points in the title game win over Syracuse, had a brief career in the NBA, not too much success, but then he became a pretty successful college basketball coach. Started at Missouri State, went to Iowa, New Mexico, UCLA, and now at Nevada. Thank you, Mr. Steve Alford, one of the great Indiana schoolboy basketball legends. This is one of our best returns. Look at that beautiful signature on that skybox car. That looks great. Steve Alford, that is a good one. All right, we've had four good ones so far. What do we got next? Let's see what we got next coming to us. Uh-oh, this one's coming to us from Tampa, Florida. The hellhole of the USA, Tampa, Florida. Look at that. Let's see what we got. Who's the unfortunate person stuck down there in Tampa? Let's pull this thing out and take a look. Oh, we got another one of our Skybox cards. Outstanding. Look at that. These signatures look great on those 91, 92 Skybox. Mr. Haywood Workman, 57 years old, played his college ball at Oral Roberts. Second round pick in the 1989 draft by Atlanta. Played parts of eight seasons in the NBA. Only had 159 career starts, averaging 5.5 points per game. After his playing career, though, he got into refereeing. He's currently an NBA ref, and he has been since 2008. I don't know how many other players are into refereeing, but this is old Haywood Workman. 
He says, basketball is done. I got to keep making some bucks. Let me grab a whistle and get to work. Hey, Wood Workman, thank you, sir. Once again, these old skybox cars really look good signed. 57 years old, blowing that whistle in the NBA. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. All right, now this next one is coming to us from Grand Rapids, Michigan, on the shores of Lake Michigan. What do we got coming to us from the Great Lake, Grand Rapids? Oh, look at this. Hey, this is fantastic. I didn't think I'd get this one back. Mr. Jacob Vrana, 27 years old, signing his 2021-22 Parkhurst card. Now, I sent this. Uh, well, first, uh, Vrana, let me say he was the 13th, number 13 overall pick in the 2014 draft by Washington. Won a Stanley Cup with the uh, Capitals in 2018. Was traded to the Red Wings late in the 2021 season. Had a great finish to the season. But then early uh, in the 2022-23 season was placed in the uh, NHL Player Assistant Program to deal with some personal issues. I sent this to Mr. Vrana while he was uh, getting back on the ice kind of like a it was a rehab or getting to shape stint with the Red Wings minor league team in Grand Rapids. And while he was down there, uh, he played real well, but they traded him to St. Louis. So he must have just signed this uh, just before he left Grand Rapids for St. Louis. And good to know he's off to a great start with the Blues. Scored five goals in his first seven games with them. Hopefully he's got everything all straightened out and will continue his great hockey career. Jacob Rana, sorry he's no longer with the Red Wings, but very glad he's doing so well with St. Louis. We hope he keeps it up. Really appreciate him signing this Parkhurst card. Great to get an active player in any sport to sign their trading card. Jacob Rana, all the best to you, sir. Really appreciate it. Look at that nice old Parkhurst card. Jacob Vrana, great goal scorer. That is a good one. We've got some good ones today. Now we're down to our last one. And this one too, coming to us from somewhere in the universe. Sent to us by the that behind all that. He fished it out of the cosmos, got it signed, and sent it back to us. Let's see who this is. Oh, another Skybox card signed by Mr. Dennis Scott. Beautiful. Look at that. Love that. Look at that beautiful card. Dennis Scott. These Skybox cards really look good. 54 years old. He was a 1990 ACC Player of the Year. Led Georgia Tech to the Final Four. Averaged 27 points a game. Number four overall pick in the 1990 draft by Orlando. Played 10 years in the NBA. Did pretty fair. Averaged 12.9 points per game. Best year, 1991-92 for Atlanta. Averaged 19.9 points per game. Dennis Scott, thank you, sir. Really appreciate that. 54 years old, signing his 1991-92 Skybox card. <laughs> I'll tell you what, those were seven pretty good TTMs. What do you think? I think my favorite is probably uh, Jacob Vrana and Kim Gordon. Some nice returns there. Now, we said we were going to give away some uh, pick four from the 2022 Rookies and Stars Panini football card. It's a 40-card value pack. All right, what do you got to do to be the winner who gets to pick any four of them cards they want? Even if it's a Brock Purdy, we'll let you have it. All right, here's all you got to do. For our pick four contest. 
pick any four 2022 Panini Rookies and Stars football cards. To enter, all you do is go down to the comments field, put your full Twitter address there. Be a follower of me at Twitter. Put your at sign and then your complete Twitter address, and then you're entered. That's all it is. Very simple. Get that in the comment field by 10 a.m. 30 March 2023. And I hate to tell all you foreigners out there, going forward, beginning with this contest, sorry. Only sending to U.S. mailing address. <laughs> it's just too much of a hassle to figure out these foreign addresses. I'm sorry, I'm not that motivated. I don't make no money off these videos. They got like 10 subscribers, so it's not worth the trouble to get, get some mailed to a foreigner. Sorry. U.S. mailing address only. Pick four. Panini rookies and stars football cards. <coughs> get your full Twitter address and be a follower of me on Twitter. Put that at sign in there and the real Twitter address so I can verify. All right. Let's take a look at some Panini football cards. 40 card value pack. Man, I hope we get a Brock Purdy. That would make somebody's day. <laughs> Let's see. That's 40. Look at all these cards. Can you believe it? What do we got first? Mr. Marquise Brown. Let me think of the design of these rookies and stars. Nothing, nothing special. A little bit, little bit better looking than the Zenith, but <laughs> not much better. Tua. We got a Tua Tagovailoa from Miami. All right. Uh-oh, Joe Mixon. Is this guy going to stay out of trouble? You never know with old Joe. And then we got next a Jonathan Taylor. Antonio Gibson. Cortland Sutton. Supposedly he might be on the trading block. I don't know. We'll see. There's a Debo Samuel. Oh, Patrick Mahomes. Look at that. Patrick Mahomes. His brother just got into trouble for molesting somebody at a restaurant. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Patrick better give him a little lecture. Tell him to calm down. Kyle Pitts. All right. And we got Mr. Tyreek Hill. So far, this is a dud pack, I'll tell you what. Are we getting anything good? This looks like a green card, Mark Andrews, a green <laughs> parallel of Mark Andrews. Oh, boy, this is this is a dud pack so far. Oh, we got a rookie card. Oh, a green parallel rookie, a Christian Watson. Now, that's a nice card. Look at that, green parallel. We like that one. There's one good one. Now we got some kind of chrome card. What's a Tom Brady chrome airborne? That might be one of his last cards. That's kind of cool. Tom Brady chrome airborne. And we got a chrome. What's this? A chrome rookie Malik Willis. Crusade. That's kind of nice. He's not a very good player, but he's got a chrome crusade rookie card. Malik Willis, check that out. All right, there's two rookie cards. Then we got something called Man in Motion. Look at that. Beautiful, Mr. Nick Chubb. Oh, I like that one. Look at that. Rookie Rush, that is beautiful. Jameson Williams of the Detroit Lions. Boy, I hate to part with that one, but I said big four. Somebody might want that beautiful Jameson Williams rookie rush card. I'd like to have that one myself. All right, what's next? Standing ovation, Tom Brady. Another nice Brady card. This pack ain't bad. It's not too bad, I guess, all things considered. Touchdown club. 
Debo Samuel. Oh, here's another Freddie Fair rookie card, Traylon Burks. That ain't bad. Traylon Burks. All right, so this is a little bit better than some of the other packs we had recently. All right. Oh, Evan Neal rookie card. I think he got injured, unfortunately. Evan Neal. Yeah, we got the other Green Bay rookie receiver, Romeo, <laughs> Romeo, Romeo Dubes. Look at that. Very nice. All right. Some decent rookies. Another rookie card, Jalen Peter. Not too familiar with him. I don't know what he did with the Texans. Oh, rookie QB, Skylar Thompson. He had a few fair moments for Miami. Not bad. Right, he's some bad rookie cards. Skylar Thompson rookie card. I'll take it, or somebody might take it. Then we got a base rookie card in Malik Willis. Too bad it's not Brock Purdy, but hey, what can you do? Got another rookie card. I got the rookies at least. Tyler Beatty, running back. Didn't do much. He didn't get much of a chance with the Ravens. Rookie card, Garrett Wilson. Oh, he had a great rookie year. Did he win the Offensive Rookie of the Year? I'm not sure. Garrett, I think he might have, didn't he? Garrett Wilson, that's a good rookie card. Oh, we got a few. Somebody might want four of these. Oh, number one draft pick, Trayvon Walker rookie card. Very nice. All right. Oh, here's one of my Michigan guys, David Ojabo. Hopefully next year when he's back 100%, he'll be start sacking that QB again. David Ojabo rookie card for the Ravens. University of Michigan, love it. Then we got the old Jerome Ford running back rookie card. We got plenty of rookies to pick from. Oh, here's a good rookie card. Brees Hall. If he gets back 100%, he had a great rookie year until he got injured. Brees Hall, rookie running back. Outstanding. Oh, we got some good rookie cards. And we got a Mike Williams. A Michael Carter. Look at that. Jared Goff. Ready to lead the Lions next year. Are they going to win the NFC North and get into the playoffs? Things are looking up for the Lions. When things start to look up, then usually something terrible happens. <laughs> let's hope let's hope this time around it's different for the Lions. Then we got a George Kittle. Alright. Juju Smith Schuster. He just signed with somebody else. I'm not sure who. Brandon Cooks just got traded, I think, what, to the Cowboys? Somebody I don't know. Somebody traded for him. I wouldn't have wanted him. Robert Woods. Cooper Cup, Christian McCaffrey, Geno Smith, and our last card, sadly, is a security tag. You got a tag, a pack of football cards. I think these were, what, nine ninety nine or ten ninety nine, something like that. You got a tag, some football cards. What kind of, what kind of society do we have when you got to put a security tag in a pack of kids' football cards? Unbelievable. Whatever happened to the USA? Geno Smith. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. We had some decent rookies. If there's four cards you want, remember, no foreigners. Sorry. Sorry, foreigners. U.S. mailing address only. Get down to the comment field. At with your full Twitter address so I can see that you're following me on Twitter. If nobody enters, I'll keep them off for myself. If one person enters, you'll get any four you want. If more than one of you enter, we'll do a drawing, random drawing, and the winner will pick his four. Uh, before we sign off, i got to remind everybody, get over to Amazon. Do me a favor, please. It's about time you got over to Amazon. See that author name there? That's your narrator. There's the book title. Put both of those into the search uh, search field on Amazon.com. This book will come up. Buy it. 
Don't you want to know valuable reflections on the human condition? People struggling through the dreary, world-wearying, day-to-day grind of everyday life. How do you put up with it? How do you live with the consequences of all the screw-ups we've made? Oh, my goodness. Of course, if you're easily offended and you you think life is just a, a day at the beach with cotton candy and seashells and balloons, you better not buy this book. You might start crying. But otherwise, if you're what we call a realist <laughs> and want to see, want to try to figure out how we got into this mess and if there's any way we can get out, go ahead and get over to Amazon and buy that book. Do me a favor, please. Somebody buy a copy of this book. Now that I said that, I guess we can hit the stop button and dump yet another TTM video into the worldwide YouTube video air fill. God willing, we'll be back in a few days with some more. Until then, remember... Enjoy the rest of your life.